the Matrix Studios Network, coming to you straight out of the Bronx, home of the independent and unsigned. Your voice, your Bronx. network. Lounge.com. Um, we're joined by a lady. I didn't know I was even screwing her name. <laughs> he <laughs> he remembers all that he just said, but he can't remember a simple <laughs> name. Don't I, I, worry. He gets memory. a lot I'm of names. Well, it's a young lady I happen to have the pleasure of meeting, I guess now, about two months ago. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, she's doing some phenomenal things. And we've been asked her to come on the show. We finally got it done. We, we had to work out some, some clearance stuff, but... We finally got it done. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Non-Feel Lounge, Ms. Darlene Anderson. Welcome to the show. I was, so did I say it right? Yes, I yes. It right? I was just waiting for the name. I don't even know you care about the institute. I was waiting for him to get the name right. I was, that's what I was waiting for, the drum roll. No and, problem. And, and I have to say this to all our first guests that come here. Ro rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> this nah, This is a worry. disclaimer. This no. is a true Enjoy. disclaimer right now. Darlene. It's a disclaimer. It's a disclaimer. Enjoy the conversation. Yes. It's a, you are a very intelligent woman, but rodeo has some issues. A good guy. <laughs> Hearts and a blessed soul. Parts yes. in the right place. <laughs> Amen. But he definitely has a condition. He's Called never played Tourette's. football, but he's got black Tourette. Got black Tourette. So it's a head <laughs> trauma that sometimes offers him to say things out the blue that make no rhyme or reason. I Liza say as things. well. He okay. might say some Hold things, up. so don't don't write that down. Um, I say <laughs> things that may really be on somebody's mind, but they don't want to say because I'm I don't want to be politically incorrect. And they're in sing sing or yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, I'm right. talking for the people that need to be talked to. We yeah. all have a cousin or an uncle similar. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> but darling, let's let's get into you. Obviously, the yes, president, sir. CEO of Ut Utopia Network, mm -hmm. um, a New York community-based non-for-profit organization. Talk about that and the reach that you guys do in the New York City market. We're doing some amazing things through Utopia Network, mm -hmm. Inc. I serve as the <clears throat> president and CEO. We have our chair, Mr. Ballin. We have Mr. Ballin. Mr. Ballin. Ballin. <laughs> Mr. Ballin. He oh, is the chair, and I life. must <laughs> say, you know, we cannot do things alone. It is such a pleasure mm -hmm. to serve with an amazing team that cares about the inner city and not just New York. We're going right, beyond right. New York, New right. Jersey, Connecticut, doing mm -hmm. great things to help you, help seniors, and mm -hmm. really make a difference to those who are in need. Now, when you say about obviously reaching out to youth, and, and, and I, I relate back to what's going on in Flint yes, with the water yes. and how... <laughs> We, we probably won't know the, the real issues with this for many years to come from what this experience, similar to what 9-11, and we're seeing some of the issues now uh, so on the, the fruition of negative things. Talk about, as an organization working with youth, um, what your focus or your gear is to kind of help empower youth physically, not just physically, but mentally and spiritually. Great question. <clears throat> it's plain and simple. Mm -hmm. We cannot say change without giving avenues of change, right. vehicles of change. Mm. I'll give you an example. We have yeah. a great partnership with Job Corps mm -hmm. in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. If we want someone to leave inner city living, I'm not going to give you a referral and say, I want you to go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you there and I'm going to ensure that you go. We're going to provide mentorship ongoingly to make sure that you're not just there, but you're staying there. Right. Oh. It's not easy. I mean, the easiest thing we can say mm -hmm. is, oh, what are you doing with your life? I'm tired of seeing you in the corner. But if we're not giving them resources. Examples. Yeah, examples. Right. And then oh. also <clears throat> taking into consideration, you can't go into, I always hear people say, we're going to go and we're going to stand on a corner and we're going to give out flyers <laughs> and stuff. If I'm in that life, my homeboy, I don't know if they still say homeboy. Oh, you're right. showing your head. You're politically incorrect. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. My go homeboy ahead. is going to feel a type of way if he sees me talking and we doing what we do. I'm not going to be able to have that type of conversation with him. So we got to get him out of there right. and then talk to them. And that's the beauty of our organization. Oh, you messing up the pimping change. game, girl. You're <laughs> taking them off the corner. <laughs> great thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm, we're having a serious conversation. <laughs> I need to so, change my life. I was like <laughs> in the first time, we were trying to get into the po political process going on, obviously. <laughs> Republicans, Democrats, debates mm -hmm. in the primaries and different things that are happening out of caucuses. When you add uh, Bernie, Bernie um, Sanders is really taking the youth vote mm -hmm. and, and it's kind of galvanized, obviously, our young people from a standpoint of, you know, a new thinking of government. Now, when you think about your brand, now it's not political, but obviously you're going to need some political support or some, you know, arms that would reach out. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts concerning this presidential race and how it fits to Utopia's uh, mission and goals. Utopia Network Inc., the, the nonprofit. Yes, you're good. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you, I, I mean, I'm just kind of hyphenating and breaking it down. No problem. No. I have, personally, <laughs> I have no opinion. Mm -hmm. The best man that can lead our country 
is what we're all in support of. And when okay. I say the best man, I mean the best man or woman well, yes, that can lead our country. Right. I, I love seniors. I love talking to seniors. And I had a conversation with a senior the other day, and he was saying that uh, whoever leads <coughs> our, com- our country has to be a uh, negotiator, arbitrator, and a terminator. You talking uh, to Jesse Jackson? You know, yeah, <laughs> okay. Somebody like Jesse is from that era. Uh, okay. I want to know who, is, who, who, what would you consider a senior? Um, well, nowadays, you Somebody know, gotta you have know, gray? You can't be sixty-five to be a uh, senior. You know, you gotta go back to work if you're sixty-five. Oh, you so seventy-five. So, so you senior clear? Senior meaning close, clear. close to ninety. Close to ninety. What? Someone, has, 90? someone has lived and Ooh, experienced Lord. the good, bad, and indifferent mm. of our country. Yes. And the reality of it is, <laughs> we are in a state where there is a need. There's a strong need. For change, uh, for the past eight years, we've been approaching that change, but ongoingly, we need someone that's now gonna pick up the baton and continue it. Mm. Exactly. That's pretty much what it's about. Now, along with your work with Utopia Networks, and you also you have your own, you know, author, um, successful author. Uh, I've read your book, um, the, Connoisseur. The, the Not Without a Fight: Ten Ways yes. to Win. Um, obviously, it's, a, it's an uplifting read. It's an, it's a you. spiritual read. It's a read that. You know, we can take things from and use it in our own personal life. As a book author, when, you, when you're putting together such a book, um, and, and people, like they do with this show, they, you know, they, we, we'll have conversations and say, well, what's, what gives you the right to talk about this? And obviously it gives me the right because I have a mic in, my, in front of my face. Exactly. But when you write your books and you put these things together, what, what is the concept you do? Is it based off your experiences? Is it based off just things you've read and l- things that maybe you picked up from other people, combination of both? Give us some examples when you put the, the 10 ways to win in your doctrine. With pleasure. Mm-hmm. Not without a fight, 10 ways to win <clears throat> when it appears as if you've already lost is an autobiographical of myself. It's mm-hmm. my trials and tribulations within, it chronicles seven years. Mm-hmm. I put my dirty laundry, so to speak, <laughs> in a journal, mm-hmm. gave some great interventions yes. that could be utilized, not just for women, because you see me on the cover and you feel like it's a book for women. It's not a book for women. It's a book for anybody that's been through struggle and is looking for structured change. Empowerment. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Empowerment. Mm-hmm. Personal and professional. I experienced homelessness. Mm-hmm. I experienced financial difficulties we all experience right. financial difficulties mm. many of us homelessness mm. going someplace <clears throat> not having a metro card to get back home but you just know you're gonna get there the best way you know how right mm-hmm. i right. lived in a room with my daughter um a small room like a quarter of the size of this for cool. three years because right. we couldn't make it and i was working yeah, i had right. darlene's utopia which is my for profit mm-hmm. so just looking at where i was and where i wanted to be see where you want to be and then get there mm. right well yeah. again i mean you yeah. mentioned about and it's a phenomenal story and and, and Again, you know, obviously, uh, I always I recommend the read. It's a quick read. You can do it in a couple of days or just ride in New York subways and really yes. get a gist of it. But I, I think obviously having that ring and the gloves, it shows, you you know, without a fight. So it, it, I didn't look, when I look, being a marketing person, when I saw the cover, I didn't think about it, it was just a women's book. I said, obviously, with that fighter mentality, you know, you go to battle. It goes with her yourself. outfit. Oh, that's only you would say that. That's why you got black to <laughs> There it but, is. There yeah, it is. See, but see, I, I think there of there things, things that, you know. He don't think. He just, he just that's, that's, that's what we need. That's, yeah. what, that's what my graphic that. designer is thinking mm-hmm. about. Thank that you. That outfit. And then Thank also, you. people, we don't have to spend money. Mm-hmm. I didn't spend money for that book. And he here. knows that real good. That was from a Look at his shirt. He's going to take his hat off. And we go on a picnic. Don't worry. I'll take my shirt for you and lay it on the ground. Got to be able to use it any way you can. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but go ahead, Barbie. Go ahead. I love it. I, love it. <laughs> I really don't. But that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, again, you know, and for rodeo, I'll say this before I continue. I hope you have a, a we don't do cassettes anymore. Maybe you have a CD or an app where he can listen because he ain't going to read. Um, <laughs> Let me play that sentence back. I, I'm trying to get to that point, you know. Now, let's talk about professional coaching. You're a professional coach, you're a consultant, motivational speaker. Definitely. Now, uh, I got to I gotta say it because there's a lot of people now with, the te- with technology and Instagram, you know, like a woman cuts her shorts into really tight. She calls herself a model. You know, uh, somebody reads a line off Love and Hip Hop, they're an actor. Um, so when you people say, oh, I'm a motivational speaker. Um, <laughs> what qualifies you to say that? And I, I know, listen, knowing you, getting to know you, I know you all, but I got to ask that for our audience because somebody's going to tell me later on, well, what makes her a motivational speaker? Yes, so that's, talk a, about that's, that. that's mm-hmm. a great question. Mm-hmm. It's not me mm-hmm. that determines that. The Lord, the Lord determines that? the Lord, is it? Hallelujah, praise, the praise Lord. praise to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But it is 
the population, mm -hmm. the audience. Yes. Right. Right. I go out, right. I inspire people. That's what I do. It yes. is a gift. It's a blessing. <clears throat> it's not my professional attribute. Yes. It is my anointed talent that Amen. God has given me oh, okay. that I utilize to the mm. betterment of others. Yeah, we're going to take off. That's different places. <laughs> I, you put me anywhere. I'm going to motivate you Ooh. just because any population. And I'm going to get you, you to that job seniors? interview, too. <laughs> <laughs> we, we might have to hire you. Yeah. Him. Um. <laughs> but I do do yeah. workforce um, development. Yeah. I teach people how to go and get the job they want within 15 elements. Let's oh. Give us some of those, mm. um, those elements. The 15 please. elements? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Starting with networking. Okay. Networking. You have to know how to network from the moment you get to the threshold mm. of the place that you're going to. Networking is right. key. Correct. Mm -hmm. Verbal skills. We all know that. But just not Rodeo, verbal Rodeo, do you skills. hear that? <laughs> Good verbal skills. <laughs> verbal skills. <laughs> Pronunciation. Pronunciation. <rodeo>. Especially <laughs> for my youth. I speak to my youth a lot. And the thing about it is middle age too. Before and middle age. <laughs> <laughs> Let, why you keep cutting her off, man? Stop getting your you ain't driving. Yo, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, dog, I apologize. I, I digress. For my youth, before right. you can talk to them about communication, you have to meet them where they're at. Right. So mm -hmm. I go in and a lot of them are like, oh Miss, you don't understand you from suburbia. And I'll be like, I'm from East New York. <laughs> You said um, block association <laughs> before I came on. Let's mm -hmm. talk about tenant association. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about mm -hmm. that. I live that type no of ride, life. No rides, no rerun, no rent. How about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I live that type mm -hmm. of life. So when you start to talk about how you relate to them, then they right. open up. Then I can talk to you about it's not seat, mm -hmm. it's seen. Mm -hmm. Then I can talk to you about your transition words. It's not um or you know what I'm saying. I have to. You have to meet them where they're at and then um, work with them on communication. And I, I love that. I'm yeah. so glad you said that because obviously somebody close to you, uh, me and him used to coach youth football yes. and it wasn't just about the football we weren't trying to get the next uh you know paint manning it was just a way to try to help these kids learn how to work together in a unit to realize what you do between between the white lines helps you outside the white lines so yeah i i, I commend you with that because our young people are lost i mean when i was talking to a kid the other day matter of fact the snowstorm day a lot of the kids i used to coach you know, like, you know hey coach kev that's what they call me and they're reaching out, and some of these kids do not know how. They, they're, we're so LOL or yes. you know HMU that we don't write anymore. We don't Correct. know. And then they're putting that out in, in the universe where jobs and organizations are looking at Facebook. They're checking their Instagram and Twitter. They, they're seeing their movements. You know, uh, I was telling um, a, a, a young lady, you can't put the booty shot that's right. on your Facebook That's if right. you're trying to apply for a job or go out and try to go to college. Mm, in today's looking. world, everything is the Truman Show. Everything is visual. Yeah. Correct. You yeah. know, and we need our people need to know that. We yeah. think because we got these phones and we're in our private rooms and nope. nobody sees it. You can put it out in the universe, everybody sees it. Mm -hmm. Correct. It never goes away. And yeah. you get mad when people don't um, like it. Now, <laughs> I have a question for you. Okay, you said motivational speaker. Who motivates you? That is a great question. That's why he's here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> John Shaft. <laughs> no, only because you Who's know everybody's like, "Oh, I'm a motivational speaker." I go and I speak <clears throat> to all these people, but you have to have points when you're down or you're low, yeah. and yes. you've got to go to somebody or mm -hmm. somewhere yeah. mm -hmm. to motivate yourself mm -hmm. to bring you back up, so you can right. go back in and mm -hmm. speak to those people who you're speaking right. to. I agree, and that's a great question. In the beginning, no one. Uh, it was hard for me to open up. It was wow. hard for me to share, even in uh, relationships. I'm like, I got this. I'm a rock. I got that uh, mm. S on my chest and my cape. So you do everything on your own, huh? Everything. Do that is so Cam not Newton's the truth. sister here, huh? Not the truth. <laughs> and I talk about that in my book. Mm -hmm. I had to learn to lean on God first. Mm -hmm. That means when God gives me an assignment, I'm not just going to run with it. I'm going to always be in communication with him to ensure mm. that the message is still clear. Mm -hmm. I have an amazing family and support. My daughter, that's, 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 my, that's my rock. Right. She's 19 years of age, <clears> amazing <throat> support, and... As Kevin has been hitting to, I have an amazing man in my life, and he definitely helps support me. John Shaft. Yeah, John Shaft. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. Morpheus. He do, um, any, he do any people out the window yet? <laughs> <laughs> that, Even you going to mess with my that woman. That side never comes out, but oh, okay. I, I, I see it has the potential. Okay. When that Please out, do like, not have school. conversations <laughs> about football, <laughs> the Rebels, or um, any other um, youth organization from 2001 <laughs> to 2009. Don't just leave that alone, yeah. and you guys will be happy of that but really i mean that's a great guy you got there and a mm -hmm. good friend of mine i'm happy for you guys on a personal note so thank you so i know much. i digress nobody cares about that in radio land like <laughs> i got mad problems i don't want to hear about her and everything on that but that's what's mm -hmm. up now obviously there's one more um layer to 
plenty of million layers, but one more professional layer. And, and you know, you are uh, it's a part of education vendor, startup, support broker, office of the people, development with disabilities. So you're given obviously this all surrounds you, the things you're doing. But talk about working with people with disabilities. Disabilities today, you know, is such a we talk about racial prejudice, um, which we know exists, but um, disabilities prejudice for jobs and, and, and living mm. and and just overall functioning in our society. Talk about those things that you do to try to assist people <clears throat> who are already going through a tough time. You just hit everything mm -hmm. where it needs to be dissected. So <clears throat> there is a uh, prejudice, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And it's not even the disabilities, like major. Right. Um, it could be subtle things like you have an IEP mm -hmm. uh, that you've had from it. If you don't know what an IEP is, is an individualized education plan that some students may get as early as early intervention right. four or five and it travels with them to 12th grade yeah. you have an IEP and you're you can't do an application and you go to a job that can hinder you mm -hmm. then you have the severely where they should have opportunities to work just like everyone else in different right. sectors but they can't go in and ask for a job without that advocacy so my job is then to come in provide resources and then to help them so what a starter broker is and a support broker is saying that I'm certified through the state of New York um, <coughs> and beyond actually to then go forth and help individuals that may, let's just say, be capped right here. Let's say you're capped at 25000 mm -hmm. I can come in and I can help you put a budget together so where you can be capped at a higher number to get more resources. So I go in and I help you qualify for additional resources that you may mm -hmm. need with your disability. Oh, yes. that's a beautiful thing. Wow. That's a beautiful thing. And I'm also, for everyone that's listening in the Department of Education, I'm a vendor. If you're interested in a consultant coming out to your schools and providing uh, resources and workshops, I'm capable and certified to do that as well. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Wow. So the future and you work for Uber, too? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dog catcher. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you, gotta, you gotta have like 100 jobs. You gotta have 100 jobs. <laughs> We're chopping up here with Darling and Anderson, uh, professional book author, everything, life well, coach. Entrepreneur. It's That's just pretty good. much a, a woman yeah, of the world. Definitely. Um, we got a few minutes left in the segment, but let, let's talk about the, the five year plan of Darlene. You, you have a lot going on. Um, you run a heavy workload. I know we talked off offline once. You, you know, start your day early, get into work, come back home, start more work, probably middle of the night, do some more work. Yes. Plus being a mother and, and all the other things you do personally. But what's the, the vision that you have for all your brands and for you of where you're going? Do you see political um, office in the future? Do you see, you know, the pulpit? I mean, it, it just maybe just where you're at. But talk about your future endeavors and the thoughts you have. I know you got some already in your head. Cause I, you I, already, I see the cloud over you your see head the cloud already. I yeah, exactly. <laughs> or you see yourself in the penthouse. <sighs> That, I would have to be a first lady if that was the case. You said the White House or the, the, the penthouse? Uh, the penthouse. Pen Black Tourette. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Darlene, Dar Dar I'm going to ask you to not floor. listen to him. You're on the top floor. I'll, I'll I went out the basement. Support. I, I keep telling him, you know, run for office. You can do it. Run for office. Uh, uh, but as a first lady. Uh, the next five years, mm -hmm. definitely Utopia <clears throat> Network, Inc. That is something that, again, I'm passionate about. Right. Growing up in East New York. I'm back in my own community mm. helping to make change. Yes. So it's to expand upon that. More mm. partnerships, more offices. We're based at 1159 Elton in East New York. So it's just expansion with mm. that. For Darlene's Utopia, which is my entrepreneurship company, the goal for that is Darlene A. Anderson. Mm -hmm. More speaking engagements, of course, more books. Uh, the mister has been saying, how many more books you got in you? Let's crank it out. But mm -hmm. it's not easy to write a book. From yeah. Some people can just write I'm the type of person where I have to experience it in order to put it on paper. Mm, okay. So the books are coming because my experiences are changing. Right, that's what's right. going on. That's what's going on. Um, where can people mm. find you at information when I book you for events, speaking engagements, motivations? Thank you. The yeah. 950 Lounge family can find me at DarlenesUtopia.com. There they will find information that we discuss and how they may inquire about other things of their interest. Fantastic. And, and if you're looking for a job and you need somebody to get you there, they will get you there on time. As yeah, you but said. you got to be ready. Yeah, a lot of people say ready. they want to be coached, but you, 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 you come and you're not ready. You have to be ready because you are the first step to your own change. What do you mean by ready? Ready as in dress, mentally? Great question. Mentally. Mentally ready. Mentally able to be challenged, mentally mm -hmm. ready because coaching is pretty much is mentorship. Mm -hmm. right. My right. mentor, and I'm happy to say I'm a part of the 4040 Club now. My mentor is younger than me. 
And I would have never thought, I mentor people older than me, but I've never been mentored by a younger person. The experience mm. that he brings is from a different perspective. Right. So mentors, and one of my mentors, one, is younger. Mm. Darling, we thank you so much again mm. for coming on. You really, uh, I hope motivated you me. I hope you listen. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. Thank goodness. And you can talk better. Um, <laughs> but Pronounce thank you me. so much, thank darling. Thank you for having me. We thank appreciate you. you. <laughs> and we'll definitely have you back soon. We'll plug your site on our site so people can find it. So again, www.darlingsutopia.com. Thank you so much. We'll take a quick break. Going to continue on this mothership. Got Charlie Cruz in the building. It's not being last live for Saturday.